Hey, God bless you this message. Welcome to Gifted Church Platform. I want to first and foremost congratulate you for staying on this platform. And secondly, you could have listened to the word of God from any place. So staying here with me, I do really want to say thank you. Let's go into the word of God for today. Stay blessed. Good God Almighty, precious one, God bless you. We give God the glory for another day. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. And so we say that praise be to his name. We want to thank him for life. Amen. I bless God for your life. I bless God for your family. And I pray on today that the Lord himself will do you good. Amen. Rise up knowing that he is with you and knowing that he will never forsake you and knowing that his promises are yes and they are amen. I want to run to my assignment on today. Um, I greet you on this Thursday. I believe that the Lord is going to be good unto you. Praise God. I'm reading from the book of Numbers chapter 21, the verse number 4b. Numbers chapter 21, the verse number 4b. The Bible says now, And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the long road. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the long road. Amen. I want to talk to you on today about how to stay encouraged in a discouraging situation. How to stay encouraged in a discouraging situation. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, um, the people of Israel were journeying. And when I, when I consider the scripture, when I look at the Bible, what I intentionally do is to look for the tipping points, the places where destiny is become altered the places where I, I kind of freeze the test and begin to examine uh, the, the the line that separates a people's destiny from glory to destruction in this particular incident Israel had gained battle had I mean had gained victory uh, just prior to this episode and they were now continuing their journey and the Bible says that for some reason they couldn't go through the town of Edom Edom is related to Israel you will know from um, historic data that they were connected but for some reason God says Israel will not go through Edom they will walk, they will kind of travel outside the city or outside the place of Edom and so obviously it means that they are going to do a long journey and the Bible says that when they began the journey they didn't anticipate how long the journey was going to be. So, in the course of the journey, uh, the, another version says their, their patience ran out, and 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 when their patience ran out, their strength also ran out, and when their strength ran out, then their soul began to also also kind of wear out, and so they got to a point where the Bible says that we're discouraged because of the long journey, and all of you on this line on today can can attest and can also take um uh, kind of um agree with me on the fact that when the journey is long your soul gets discouraged when the promises take long your soul gets discouraged when things don't turn out the way you want it and the bible said that people lay out a complaint before god but their complaint was out of bitterness and out of discouragement anybody that is discouraging their soul will always be bitter anybody that is discouraging their soul will always complain and the bible said they complain that as a matter of fact we are not happy with our living our our working condition we are not happy with this journey first and foremost we are not living on a very heavy food manna was very light it says the people said we are not living on a heavy food and this trip is also very tiresome we are carrying our loads our children and we are journeying this long distance that it looks like we, we, we can't do it anymore i want to talk to you about living an encouraging life in a discouraging situation life will bring you to a place where everything looks like it's not going to happen i'm speaking to you i'm going to be raw with you on today some of you are living in a marriage some of you are living in a situation some of you are living in a financial situation some of you are living in some kind of way that truth be told it is very discouraging and the reason is because it has taken a long time for your life to be better it has taken a long time for things to turn for your good that's taking a long time for you to see the light on the other side and it's not happening but you are the one that god has sent me on today on assignment to tell you that stay encouraged in this discouraged situation because you are not alone because god is with you and because he will strengthen you 
And so uh, this is what I came to do on this morning. I came to um, first and foremost receive your, 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 your discouragement to receive it. In other words, to understand with you that yes, what you are going through is very discouraging. To receive that from you and to let you understand that we don't have a high priest who cannot be touched with our difficulty. We don't have a high priest who cannot be touched with what we are going through. So I want you to understand that what you are going through is very discouraging at the time that you are at the same stage that you are this is not how your story could have been or should be this is not how you planned it this is not how you thought the marriage would be this is not how you thought your life was going to be you are blessed by all means but you are also Discourage uh, Israel was blessed by armies. Hey, come on, they just won a battle. I told you, but but let me tell you about people, let me tell you about us so that you begin to get awareness of us. First thing first, human beings are born to live in the moment, we don't live in the cumulative experiences of our lives, we live in the moment. What it means is that God made it such that so that when yesterday's pain is gone, you can survive today. So when something very bad happens to you, somehow with time, you move away from that experience and you come to a new day. You understand that? In the same way, when something good happens to you yesterday... You will move on to today and if something bad happens to you today, it is that, it is today's moment pain that will begin to defend you, that will begin to define you. That is why when you, somebody who you have been a friend with for hundred, for hundred, I mean for over hundred months, for over, so, I mean for so many years, uh, when the same person today begin to sabotage your life, you are ready to let the person go. You don't say that I counted what you did yesterday because the moment that you are in defines you. It is a surviving mechanism. It's also very deadly when it comes to being discouraged. And so Israel was discouraged because at the particular moment in time, their surroundings were discouraging and their life was going under. And so they began to uh, complain. They began to bitterly complain to God. And they, 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 they and their complaint was such that they, they, they always re- refer God to where they are coming from. I didn't, Israel is saying, I didn't sign up for this. I came to speak to you today concerning the fact that there's God who is inclined to your condition, who is ready to help you. Now, let me begin to wrap it up and begin to speak to your heart concerning being encouraged in a discouraging situation. I I have to somehow speak a word that will comfort your heart today. I have to somehow begin to bring you a word of hope today. And the word of hope is that God understands your condition. And that is not enough. Not only does God understand your condition, God wants me to also go ahead and tell you that help is on the way. And lastly, God wants me to tell you that um, he, he, he is not going to let you fall. Amen. He is not going to let you die. Are you hearing me? Um, uh, um, I don't want to go there. I might get you upset a little bit. But here's what I'm saying. God is aware that the, the journey is long. God is aware that you don't eat a, a heavy food or on manna. God is aware that you are tired. God is aware of all of that. And he wants me to tell you that he will sustain you. Just look unto him. How to live an encouraging life in a discouraging situation. Number one, understand that God is aware of your discouraging situation. And number two, I want you to do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and do God a favor. And in the midst of this discouragement, look unto God. Look unto God. Look unto God. In the midst of because let me let me let me set this up and pray. Let me kind of unpack what is happening. 
there is an, a discouraging situation. Are you here? And there is your life. And there is a difficulty. There is also your God who is outside the, the zone of your discouragement. So what I'm trying to say is that God is outside. God is not affected by the condition. So he's outside the situation. Therefore, you cannot begin to deal with somebody who is outside the situation to do something for you. So I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, God is doing you well. And therefore, you can talk to him. Are you hearing me? God is doing well so you can depend on him. God is doing well so you can call him into your life. You can call him into your heart. So instead of um, instead of uh, going to God discouraged, you want to bring God into that discouraging situation so that he will buffer you. And that is what he sent me to come and tell you that he is going to buffer you. He is going to sustain you. You won't look like you have gone through a long journey. Every long journey is about to end for you in the name of Jesus. Every long distance is about to end for you in the name of Jesus because God has sent me to inform you of his encouraging word in your discouragement. His encouraging truth in your discouragement and he wants me to tell you that he is with you he is going to strengthen you he's going to empower you and when whenever things get difficult understand that things are good in heaven you can get heaven's help in your difficult life so this is what god wants me to inform you for i go look unto him in this discouraging situation and a smile will come on your face look unto him in this difficult situation and a smile will come upon your face and when you look unto him he will draw night unto you and he will show that you he will take you oh my god god will take you god will take you i hear god say i will put you on my neck like a good shepherd and i will take you to this journey i am a god when i take one step it's like 20 steps for you so god is about to lift somebody up on this platform and he's going to walk with you the full step you're about to see from the end for the rest of the year it shall not be your full step it shall be the full steps of god for god is about to take the worry and the weak and put you on your neck and on his neck and walk with you. You are going to cover some distance this year, which is going to be the full steps of God, which you are on, on the shoulders of God. You have a good shepherd. Your God loves you and your God understands your condition. All you got to do is to look unto him. All you got to do is look up to him and say, Lord, my help comes from you. My hope is in you. You will not lead me on this path if you don't have what it takes for me to make it. I declare that you will make it in the name of Jesus. Your healing has taken long, but God's about to bring you to the finishing line. Your marriage has taken long, but God's about to bring you to a finishing line. Your life seems to be going back, but God's about to take you to the front. For he says the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. I declare God's speed over your life. I declare God's strength over your life. Your discouragement shall be a story of the past. For you will walk through the valleys of the shadows of death but you will fear no evil it doesn't matter the distance it doesn't matter the time for the lord your god shall support you for the lord your god shall strengthen you you are a miracle you are a miracle your resources is smaller than your expenses you are a miracle your ability is weaker than your battle you are a miracle the things you are facing is supposed to kill you but you are alive you are a miracle be encouraged child of god Know this for sure, that as you look unto God, your discouraging situation will not, will grow fairly dim. Hallelujah. That is the trick. To look unto Jesus so that your discouraging situation will fairly dim in the, in the light of his glory and grace. I want you to know that you are not alone. God is with you. And God is going to cause you to stay encouraged. It's a face. It's a situation. It's a process. Stay strong and tap from God who is a fountain of life, who is your strength, 
I pray in the name of Jesus. You will never run out of strength in a discouraging situation. You will never run out out of divine strength. You will never run out of hope in the difficult situation. You will never run out of courage. You will never run out of strength. For the number of your days, so shall your strength be in Jesus' name. Amen.